welcome this is the energy vibration um, full moon lesson for the heart earth sign people all right earth sign people I want to say um, thank you for returning thank you for supporting my channel all these years welcome back um I can't wait until I really get my cards back so we can look at um different situations that is coming up but thank you anyway for being here all right um i changed up the readings um remember um i'm going to leave time stamp i'm going to remember to put the time stamp in these readings i uh, first we do the sun sign people the sun sign people is between um 6 a.m and 6 p.m if you were born between 6 a.m and 6 p.m you are a sun sign first we do the sun sun we're going to see what is going to affect um you guys and remember this reading is for um the capricorns the taurus and the virgos okay so for your individual um extended reading you can connect use the join button connect and um you will receive your extended reading um full moon and love reading um the medium people gets it so if you pay for 4.99 per month you get everything all right so it's uh, it's good thank you so much for the newcomers and the people who already joined thank you always um check out these reading and then the readings um the extended okay so you have to have the general reading and then you can listen to the extended all right so my angels and guides are saying stop all right so first we're going to be looking at the sun sign people to see what is coming up so I see that some of you are very tired some of you need to get some rest some of you might be um, going through and has been going through a lot of stuff this is the um, this is the reading from 15th of January until 15th of February but it is a timeless reading so whenever you receive this this is the energy for whenever you pick up this reading is if you pick up this reading in December uh, 2020 is when you are supposed to hear this reading okay or you can always go back for other full moon because sometimes you vibrate with a full moon like in 2019 November October so that's how these my readings work because um uh, I vibrate on a total different vibration energy so this is a situation where some of you are really tired some of you could be dealing with issues some of you are going within some of you need time to really deal with an issue and a situation that is going on and I see that some of you your burden is finally over and I see you taking time to um, to um, recuperate because some of you whatever the issues whatever that was going on there was a lot going on with you um, um, Capricorns and I see as you come to um, the 15th the 15th of the month I see you're finally it's as if you're in Alien and you're taking a break and I see that the burdens is going to be coming down okay so what is happening what is transpiring I have some any BD cards and I see that some of you whatever that was transpiring okay okay whatever was transpiring I see the it some worries and I see some of your stepping back okay I hope you can see this there's a little, little tiny 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 but I just so love them so there was some worries because that is the reason why some of you are stepping back because some of you had some issues that you were dealing with however these issues are coming up that you were dealing with I see you're kind of um, coming back to ground yourself because these burdens are going to be flowing away but you have been going through like a battle all right so I see some of you are dealing with some family issues um, however way it could be family for some of you it could be friends for some of you but whatever is transpiring I see that is where some of you are kind of finding your balance to deal with whatever is um, whether with friends or with family so there is definitely some of you could be dealing something 
um, having something to deal with um, friends for some of you and family for some of you because obviously there are some issues there is transpiring and I see you need to find balance to deal with this issue or the situation that you're dealing with family so it's family and friends some of you it's family some of your friends and especially with friends I see some of you are just holding back on communication with friends for the moment it's as if you're trying to figure out what exactly is going on now I see the energy of the three of Pentacles in the reverse so I see you're not connecting with any friends at this moment you're kind of keeping everyone at bay whatever that was happening or transpiring you're kind of keeping a lot of people at bay if this has to do with a work situation or people who wanted to connect with you I see you're kind of keeping them at bay I see you're really thinking whether or not you want um, to be in this connection number three seems to be an energy for you guys because this is collaboration but I'm not seeing any collaboration going on I'm seeing you are deciding not to go forward with this collaboration so however this is coming up um, it is as if some of you um, they were asking you to go someplace friends or collaborate with them on something and I see you're stepping back taking time to think about it what direction you want to go I see heartbreaks is coming up because whatever is transpiring um, heartbreaks is coming up with family situation for some of you and heartbreaks is coming up for a collaboration for some of you okay so so I see you're just going to be looking um, and moving forward whatever is transpiring I see you're just gonna decide and to move forward you're taking the time out to think about it in the, the week of January then I see the eight of cups now the energy of the eight of cups is some emotional situation that you're leaving behind now this emotional situation has to do with collaboration and for some of you Capricorns you're going to be feeling it where um some of you are just going to be turning your back and leaving situation behind some of you could be turning your back on a capricorn and leaving um if this capricorn is a friend i see you turning your back on this friend and moving away okay so some of you were in um you were you took some time off for yourself to think about a situation between you and a friend especially you capricorns and i see you turning your back okay whatever is transpiring I see you guys turn your back on a lot of money however this is plain I see you turn your back on a lot of money um, I see that some of you decide no I'm not going to sell my friends out okay and you're thinking about it because this would have bring you a lot of financial stability but you said no I'm not selling my friend out and this is a good gesture and this is earth sign people okay and whatever is transpiring I see that you sun sign people whatever that was happening in your world and whatever that was transpiring you had a lot of worries it's as if you were offered um, to sell out a friend and some of you say no I'm not doing that um, and you can see this because a lot of you are trying to figure out what is best that I should do because some of you just came out of a horrible horrible battle when we look at uh, um, the Virgos you Virgos what is transpiring is that you're having issues with both friends and family I see you're having issues with both friends and family and you need to find your balance as we look at when it comes to collaboration work business I see some of you are heartbroken and you're going to be turning your back and moving forward I see a lot of you um, could be um, emotionally letting go a Capricorn or some of you are going to be helping a Capricorn to really find financial balance Virgos I see you losing um, some money whatever is transpire you Virgos I see you're losing some money but I see um, as if the Capricorns are focusing on making money it's as if um, relationship is not very important 
for you Capricorns it's as if you're focusing on just making money your energy is going to be number three number three body mind and soul and that's where the rest comes in um, the energy of um, I, I, it, something is going to be ending um, in this period for you guys so go check out your extended reading to see exactly how is it going to affect you guys okay alrighty let's go and see what's happening for the moon people what is happening for the moon people moon people moon people moon people what is happening for the moon people so let's look at the moon earth sign people um Taurus is um it's as if you have come to a battle it's just like all of you have gone through a battle Capricorn Taurus is and uh and, and you're coming out okay so let's see at the moon people what is transpiring with the moon people what is happening for the earth sign moon people all righty so I see the worries is going to be over so earth sign moon people I see you're coming in the spirit with the worries being over you, you know whatever that was was transpiring you're seeing the truth now to whatever that was transpiring and this is very good I see you had communicated in the past I see you try to cut down something I see some of you seeing the truth and you're not even communicating anymore because you see the truth because you cut clear the truth and you it's as if I've said my piece I have nothing else to say okay it's like I've said my piece I have nothing else to say the energy of the devil is down so whatever the issue is and that was transpiring you took down some negative forces that was deceptively doing some deceptive things and you took them down okay some of you um ladies i see you are standing strong you have said your piece you're moving forward especially you ladies um 50 years and older i see you standing your ground and you took down the energy of the devil I see you see the truth about some deceptiveness with some money I see you cut through the BS you are looking at the truth of what has transpired it has to do with a Gemini some of you are dealing with a Gemini some of you um, are totally communicating with a Gemini and you're cutting down the BS that was going on and you're telling it as it is so some of you were dealing with a Gemini some of you were dealing with some negative forces latest 45 years and older again you took down a, um, a negative situation that was transpiring and now you're looking for better grounds you're looking forward so if you notice the energy of the tower comes back up and that is what I've been seeing in these full moon reading is that when you read for the fire sign and the moon sign comes around you can shuffle the cards ten time that is the message that needs to come out I've been seeing it in the extended readings when I was doing the extended readings so as we move forward let's see what is coming out I see message about money that is coming in um, and it's if, as if um, the message for the money that was coming in um, someone try to block it or took the message but I see um, the Knight of Pentacles is going to um, let you know that you were supposed to be receiving some money so if you notice you earth sign people really standing strong in this um, in this um, month and you are also helping out each others and this is going to be good and I see a lot of you love is going to be good because I see um, that some of you could be receiving some offer and this is going to be good if you connect with this person I see that if you earth sign people had friends that you have lost along the way I see them returning in your life okay so whatever the secrecy um, that was going the secrecy is going to be coming out and this is going to be good because I see um, someone between the ages of 18 and 45 is going to be um, letting um, a 50 year old woman know exactly what was transpiring 
so um these people could have been very good friends and a lot has happened and transpired and now um it's as if this young person is going to really um tell the truth that this um so it's as if it could be an earth sign um a taurus saying to um a virgo or a virgo saying to a taurus or a capricorn saying but you all are in this reading where you all are going to be helping each other because you see some injustice of something that has transpired now some of you are dealing with the energy because um the energy of uh, an aries and you um women um 50 years and older you were dealing with a deceptive situation with an aries and i see a young person um is going to be coming in and i see some of you if you have kids that is taurus virgo or capricorn what is happening is that they're also showing up in your reading whereas again is coming up okay so young people between the age of 18 and 45 some worries is uh, um coming up for you guys okay and it's uh, about your kids okay so people between the ages of 18 and 45 i see worries is coming up and it's uh, because of your kids and here you are it's the same energy that the fire sign the the the, the sun sign so now we're at the moon sign because you guys are um, the moon sign you were born between the hours of uh, uh, 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. okay all right so the energy of the lovers is here secrecy secrecy has to do with a family member um, some issues with kids I see the message see I said issue with kids so there are some issues that is coming up for kids some of you could be losing a child. If you are pregnant, you might lose a child. Okay, might. Okay, might. Some of you are going to be getting pregnant. Some of you um, are definitely going to be um, getting pregnant. Whatever that is happening and transpiring, I see um, some of you could be getting pregnant. Some of you might lose a child. Whatever is transpiring, I see um, that if you, because I'm seeing... Um, the older the older ladies and the younger people is as if earth signs are going to be supporting each other especially when you come to the end of the month going in the beginning of February especially ladies 50 years and older and um, the night of Pentacles you're going to be helping people going in and I see you young people between the age of 18 and 45 is worried have some worries about money okay I see you want to move forward because I see um financials um some of you are going to be letting an older um woman that is 50 years and older you're going to let this person know that some money was stolen from you definitely okay I want to know because the energy there is a lot of you that is going to be receiving it's as if a whole lot of you is going to be receiving information all right some more worries is here about money no I see that um, some of you um, younger women or men are going to be telling older people that it's as if they were supposed to get some money and someone tried to steal it and they're going to make sure that you receive the money okay they're going to be making sure that you receive yes the money okay they're going to be making sure that you receive the money especially if uh, you had a friend um i see if you had a friend okay the ten of ones your burden is going to be down ladies and gentlemen Whatever burdens that you are carrying, whatever financial burdens that you are carrying, it's going to be over. All right. The energy of the lovers. So a lot of you are going to be having um, situations to deal with um, people you're in love with, okay, or your partner. But this is going to be positive because I see it's as if financial help is going to be coming in for both of you. So whatever that is transpiring. I see financial help is going to be coming in for both of you. Now, the energy of the lovers is here. So um, you moon people are going to be dealing with either 
family issues or issues with the partner but it's not bad it's like communication I see money is going to be coming out a lot of message about money is going to be coming out I see issues with kids I see you Capricorns are going to be stop worrying about money because your financial burden is going to be ending as you come to the 15th of January so this is good go check out go check out your extended reading connect to the channel because that's the only way and Capricorns take the uh, I'll take the $4.99 because then you will receive all of these extended okay all right so let's get in it and look at in general what is coming up in the house remember Capricorns you're in the tent house okay um Capricorns in the tent house Virgo is the sixth house and Taurus you are the second house so again Taurus you're the second house okay Capricorns um, you are way in the back Virgos you're in the sixth house so remember that so I'm going to be specific specifying and looking at exactly what is coming up in your houses okay very wonderful energies that is coming up oh, extremely wonderful energies that is coming up for you guys i see you earth sign are really supporting each other and um that is so beautiful that is like one of the most beautiful things that you earth signs are really supporting each other in this january and that is going to be the true the whole year all the full moons i see that is happening all right earth signs let's see communication is going to be key it flips out communication is going to be the key whatever is transpiring i see communication is going to be the key um that is what this um full moon is all about communicating so i see a lot of you earth signs are going to be communicating with each other and it's going to be reconciliated with each other okay so in the first house what's happening for the earth signs i see pluto so i see you're going to be making some changes in yourself i see love taurus is love is in your house i see um with the environment i see you are going to be shaking up i see a healing coming up with family i see luck with friends passion groups i see you're going virgos you're going to be finding your no node so virgos is going to be realizing what it is that was meant to be i see unexpected luck in relationship or in your marriage I see some dreamy love affair could be happening um, I see um, some changes is going to be coming up with uh, travel uh, some changes is going to be coming up with um, um, foreign situations okay but if, if it's we're gonna see whether or not Jupiter Capricorns Capis Jupiter is in your house OMK that is beautiful Capis. I see communication um, is going to be very good with groups people and friendship community you know organization um, it's going to be absolutely wonderful and I see you your ascendance is in the 12th house your ascendance is in the 12th house where um, you're going to be ill in situation that has to do with worldview and that sort of a situation so I see you ill in that situation and it's absolutely going to be good okay oh righty so let's just uh, focus let's focus ladies and gentlemen and focus 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 okay all right so let's focus and see what is happening so we have Pluto in the self and we're going to be doing radically moving and areas out of our life ooh, ooh, ooh. a lot of you are going to be um, Taurus is ooh, so <laughs> oh, oh, oh so in self I see some of you are going to be radically making changes in yourself is radically making changes with issues and situation and your life okay so um beautiful 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 so in self there is the energy of pluto 
the self is you, who you are, philosophy. It's about the awakening of you. It's about the consciousness of you. And it's about arriving at you. Pluto, whenever Pluto comes up in the, the, the energy of cells, I see that uh, there is going to be a transformation and this transformation is going to bring a renewal of who you are. So you could be changing your outlook. Uh, um, you could be changing up things about yourself. Is it times you could be putting on tattoos here? You could be extremely clearing up yourself where you could be changing diet, but you're, you're, you're killing something about yourself and having this brilliant new start. Some of you are going to be radically moving out, uh, um, selfish situation and bossy people from around you. Okay. Freers people. Um, people who are argumentary, you're just going to be moving them. You're going to be like, bam, I don't really need you in my life. So, um, you know, toodaloo. Some of you were having an issue with an Aries and I see you radically moving this person as, as if, no, I don't need you to be so argumental in my life. Now, second house is the house of Taurus. Taurus, I, you are going to be um check out the business reading um capricorns um i'm going to put the link where you guys can check out the business reading for the full moon because what is that happening here is that the energy of romance is in your house tauruses okay and uh, uh some of you tauruses or some of you um are going to be going in business with a pisces and if you do it's going to be x so some of you could be meeting a Pisces or some of you is uh, met a Pisces or in a relationship with a Pisces. However, this is happening. You and the Pisces is going to be very successful because I see you both are going to be working together. So whether it's in love or whether it's in creating something together, this is just going to bring you a lot of success. Okay. So again, this is the house of the Taurus and Taurus Pisces are going to be bringing you a lot of success. Whatever is transpiring, I see the Pisces bringing a lot of success to you. This is going to be good because what is going to be transpiring is that um, the energy um, that the Pisces is bringing in is not only success in love, but it's success in business. And the Pisces is going to be helping you to make a lot of money. So this is going to be good. So wonderful energy is coming up with the Pisces for you. Earth sign, it doesn't really matter if you're in love with them or in business. Taurus, you're going to be um, doing business with a Pisces. A Pisces is going to help you to be financial um, uh, stable. And that is going to change your financial because that is the second house of your money and your status and your value. Okay. Now in the third out of environment, and this has to do with uh, medians, excursions, social dating, um, it can affect your sis, your siblings, uh, the street life, but like your surroundings, I see changes is coming up in your surroundings. I see new, I see changes is coming up in your surroundings especially for the Tauruses, okay? For the rest of you, you're going to stay put, but especially for the Tauruses, I see that changes is coming up in your surroundings. So you Tauruses might have to be moving or shift um, with work or that sort of a thing, but it has to do with your surroundings. So it's about moving or you could be um, traveling for work, that sort of a thing is going to affect the Tauruses. But for the rest of you, you're going to be okay with situations in your surrounding. As we look at the fourth house of family, what we're seeing, we're seeing an healing in a family. So I see um, you guys, if you are having issues with family members, I see a transition where an healing is going to be coming up for you and your family members. It could be a family that has gone through some misery that was created by a Leo. I see that there is going to be some healing between you and your family members. Okay. If you have a family member that is a Leo that has uh, created some issues and situation for you, I see an healing is going to be coming in. So this is going to be God. As we look at friendship, the, um, the house of friendship, um, these are people who you, you know, you, you really connect with. And, um, these could be, um, your kids, uh, 
um, you know, romance, people who are having an affair could be that us also. I see some of you are going to be having some luck, okay? And uh, if you have cancers that are your friends, cancers are going to help you to um, bring some luck. Cancers are going to help you to have a rebirth. They're going to give you some luck in this period. And this is a cancer is your um, the Capricorn's opposite side. So I see cancers are going to be coming out and helping you earth sign people because they it's as if they they realize what has been transpired. And cancer is the opposite side for the Capricorn. So I see um, a lot of you are going to be being helped by cancers in this period. It's as if if you were having a fight with them, they're going to be turning around and helping you out. And this is going to be beautiful. All right. So Virgos, 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 Virgos. I see some of you Virgos is going to be finding out that a Taurus uh, mm, and a Capricorn mm, 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 um, is... Uh, they're going to help you to find your true north okay so um if it's in business if it's in work um if it's in study if it's in um you know you're you have a coach that is a taurus or a virgo person uh you could be meeting someone who's just going to be your your best friend um that is coming in i see your boss is, is going to be helping you to find your true north so um virgos this this period is going to be very very good for you because i see you're going to be finding your true not virgos and the capricorn is definitely going to be helping you to find your true not and especially if you have a boss um that is a capricorn um this person is going to be making sure it's opening up doors of opportunity and show you where it is that you were meant to be so i really see your boss coming in and helping out you virgos i see some of you um if you meet capricorn people it, it, definitely directly you're going to become friends and be friends for a very long time i'm seeing you working together and it's going to be creating a lot so this is good for you guys i'm sorry my hair <laughs> all right so um the seven hours of relationships what's happening um unexpectedly in relationships um or with legal issues so let's say in relationships uh you're married um or you were married to a sagittarian i see this person is going to let you know that they still care about you um I don't think the love has ended between you and this person. I think it's an unending love that some of you had um, if you were married with a Sagittarian. I see the Sagittarian, um, they care about you. I see some unexpected surprises. It's like the Sagittarian is going to unexpected surprise you. It could be a new person that you're meeting or a new Sagittarian that you're going to be meeting. But I see this person is going to just unexpected surprise you and you're going to be like i didn't know that you still feel that way but i think some of you it's good up with your ex-husband or that sort of a thing that is transpiring okay so i see something unexpectedly and um it's going to be happening but a sagittarian is going to um be bringing you luck especially with a legal issue if you're having a legal issue with a sagittarian um, I see because this is definitely legal issues and, uh, and and balance. I see that they're going to be bringing you some unexpected luck. It's like it's as if they did something and then you're going to be getting a payout because of something that they did. Okay. Um, if you're divorcing, I see that they're going to be unexpectedly. Um, <coughs> sorry, giving you back something. So this is going to be good, okay? I need to drink, people. But whether it's in love, marriage, or a legal issue, that's where your luck come in at this period. Oh, it could that they did something and they were caught and they have to pay you a lot of money. I'm seeing this coming up because it's in, um, it could be that, yeah, it was 
it, it could be a husband that you're divorcing or someone you're divorcing and they did something and that gives you a breakthrough a, a strong point okay or they could be just bringing you luck because they care about you all right so we're in the house of intimacy the house of intimacy has to do with contract investments okay and what is transpiring is that i see um the neptune the unseen so i see a lot of you you're dreaming of what you want to create in your life whether is it in business or you're dreaming for this relationship this love that you want I see some of you are going to be balancing out a relationship between you and an Aquarian. It's as if you realize that, you know, this is not it for me. Whether in an intimate sense, maybe you are having an affair with this person. I see you're balancing out this. Some of you could um, realize that this person is entering in your dream. This could be an Aquarian. And I see you're just going to block this person and stop this person. So they could be dreaming about you and you're feeling this and you're realizing that, yeah, this is kind of weird. Hey, back up. Okay. Um, some of you, um, could be signing contracts. Um, new contracts is going to be coming in. Some of you are dreaming of a new contract to come in. That sort of a situation is coming up now when it comes to, um, situation, um, foreign travels, I see changes is coming up foreign travels changes is coming up um education i education changes is coming up i see customers could be coming in i see faiths and beliefs is going to be changing i see um things are going to be coming out like a lot of issue yeah we did know what that you know maybe another war is on it break um so obviously and i really don't want i really I, I can't i can't imagine that someone really let uh, that crazy man make that move because that was not the right move to make so i see war could be coming up some of you could be having some issues with a scorpio who either work in an international company or a company overseas it could be um this person um is in a relationship with you but whatever is transpiring this person is overseas so this is also coming up as war okay so some of you um at the end you could be finding out that the next third world war is about to come up so be aware of that because um scorpions and mars is is about war okay so this 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 is coming up and it's foreign it's overseas so like um if you're in america it could be in another uh, country and that sort of a thing all right i'm not going in there i'm sorry i can't do um capricorn capricorn a gemini is going to be healing your reputation a lot of luck is in um the house of your reputation earth signs earth signs whatever is transpiring your reputation is going to be repaired okay some of you is could be um however is transpiring i see the capricorns could be giving you some luck and balancing out your reputation or i am seeing that a gemini might be coming in and helping to bring back the reputation of the capricorns and this is going to be beautiful okay this is going to be absolutely beautiful then we come to the edge the edge is the um, the house of the aquarians so some of you could be having some issues with the aquarian and these issues could be um legalities and i see you're going to be winning okay so um if you're having some um legal issues with aquarian i see you're definitely going to be winning because i see your communication is very strong you are science and you're going to be winning this so whatever the issue and the situation is that has to do with legal issue that you were dealing with an aquarian you earth sign are going to be winning and winning big time some of you are going to be help door the liberans so it could be legal issues or the liberans are going to be coming in to help you um and 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 communicate for you because of something that was deceptively happened so this is going to be good and that is it um the 11th house now the 12th house 
you Virgos are sitting in the 12th house. So you Virgos are going to be a surrendering something. It's as if you Virgos are healing an issue, healing a situation, surrendering, healing an issue of a situation that was transpired. I see you doing a healing. I see you're releasing something. I see you're opening up and accepting. You're releasing something and something new is coming in. So some of you could be just leaving a job, leaving a house, leaving a situation, but I see something new is coming in. Go check out your extended reading. I love you guys. Um, but um, it is good for you um, to go access your own energy vibration reading. Remember, in order to receive this, you have to take the medium um, abundant and you will receive like all the extras that I do. I love you guys. Namaste.